So I want to do a haul, um, and my camera is blinking. So uh, it's basically kind of like what I got for Christmas and what I got myself for Christmas. So I'm going to go into it. Um, first thing first, I use this to do my makeup today. This is the Morphe 35O palette. Um, I also got the Makeup Addiction, which I use today on my eyes. Be careful of the shimmer colors because they're kind of chunky and they kind of get in your eye and it kind of bothers you a little bit. Um, I got some lashes from um, Violet Voss. This is Vamtris. Okay, guys. Um, hey, no man to the cartoon in the back because my little cousins are watching Scooby-Doo. Um, okay. So I got some stuff from uh, Makeup Forever. I got um, Enchanted Forest. I got a, a dupe of this. I didn't even know I had it. But I got um, Goddess. That just sucks. Really soft. I should be doing these swatches. Let's hurry up. Okay. So I got a sparkler from them. This is a supernova. Okay. I have a bag. The remainder of this stuff. Or the box is in. Okay, this is Supernova. It's like a green glitter pigment shimmer, whatever that they're calling this. She did send me something that she's gonna give me two dollars um I'm back off of these because it came with oh, oh. No shifter in it. That's my bad. I was so stupid of me. Okay. Woo. It's a glitter pot in. Okay. So, yeah, I got that. Gee whiz, girls. Um, I also ordered from Urban Decay. Um, I'm almost out of my setting powder. I love the setting powder. Setting spray, not powder. You will get it right. So I got the makeup setting spray, long lasting. I got the big bottle. And I also got, they gave me a ton of fucking samples. But I feel like I can use some of the samples in my kit, so that's where I'm gonna go. Okay. I got two lipsticks. I got Blackmail and Matt Carl. Cor Carnal. Carnal. Never had um the lipstick. Ooh, interesting packaging. Yes. And I had it backwards. Yes. Um yeah, I got this mauve color on my skin complexion. Mauve colors looks very pretty. Um, this is blackmail. I don't know why, but I'm just really into these dark colors right now. So this is caramel and blackmail. Happy about those. Then I ordered from ColourPop. I have never got um, ColourPop liquid lipsticks, so I just thought maybe, you know, like, why not, you know? Um, I got LAX. Do a little smudging. 
even though I said I wasn't gonna swatch. This is LAX. This is Bedazzled. Bedazzled is purple. I think people already saw these, so I'm not even gonna swatch the rest. This one is Teeny Tiny and Guess. This is Guess. It looks like uh, dark freaking purple like almost like blue black blue purple whatever it looks really dark and teeny tiny and i tried teeny tiny one. i kind of like, really like this formula i did order some more um because i really did like the formula i didn't think i was gonna like because some people said it was like really really dry and i wore teeny tiny and i fell in love so i ordered more we know i have problems I ordered um, Estee, not Estee, um, Lacombe Tint the Clap or Tint the Dole Foundation. This is um, the Stick Foundation. My uh, hair, I've used this already. This is in 500 suede. This is what I wear normally. And I love this. I use this with. Um, my makeup for, yeah makeup forever um their stick foundation because it's too red I don't understand that the 180 is what I have on now and it's, it's I mixed it with um Too Faced um more, Too Faced One This Way foundation that's mahogany I had to mix that them two together and then come up with balls. yes ma'am I like them two together one is a little like 180 is really red and that looks good on me in the summer and then I got 178 in the stick thinking that that would be a little bit lighter for the winter and it's still red really red so I got 500 suede and I mixed these two together and made I didn't have to say but it happened okay I also got the 500 point perk of the Makeup Forever one, the HD powder, and the lash uh, mascara, the lipstick, and the primer. So yeah, I got that. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. And it comes with a lip gloss. I think I may keep the lipstick and the mascara, and I have a giveaway box, so I'm gonna put, like, the gloss and the primer and the giveaway box. Um, I got another. This is really nice and I haven't used it all. So I'm really happy I got this. This is another 100 point. This low face um, belief cream. I heard a lot of good things about it. It's really expensive, but I still have the other one I have. So I just got this one. Because I have one in my purse. Sometimes I have dry days, though, like dry days. And I have one in my purse, and I, um, I'm going to keep this one in my bathroom. I also got the step one. This is the smoothing primer. I wanted this, but I didn't want to actually spend like all my money for it. So I just got this little hundred point perk and some other things that I got worth mentioning. Now, Dr. Dennis Gross, the Dark Spot Sun Defense. So. I'm gonna grab a bottle. I also ordered some lashes and I got this lash glue that's going in my kit. This is going into my kit. This is the House of Lashes Clear Lash. I love this lash glue and it have, comes with a brush and it turns like a greenish color when it's tacky and I can put them on. So I love this and yeah, going in the kit. Um, I got these lashes for myself. This is Noir Fairy Blanc and this is Siren. 
Okay, I did not like these lashes the last time I had them, but I really fell in love with Violet Voss's lashes. Um, what I have one is um, blink, blinky lashes or something. Um, I never, I didn't really fall in love with these when I first got them, so I decided to give them a try because I did kind of fall in love with um with Violet Voss's and I think they're kind of like the same thing or whatever so yeah I thought you know I'd give them a try because I did get some bottom lashes from them so I'll just I'm gonna try them out again to see if I if I change my mind about them this is my UGG protecting uh, sheepskin suede uh, water and stain repellent for sheepskin and suede. I still need, because the way the steps is on the back, I still need to get the set of stuff that came, that uh, you get to wash it and then spray this on. So I'm still going to have to get that. <laughs> clean it up while I'm um, doing this because I don't want to have to do so much cleaning later. Yes. Um, okay, then I went on Anastasia. Um, what is it? Um, Anastasia's daughter. I think that's who she is. She's on YouTube, and she was doing a rundown of her mom's new um, eyeshadows, and I have issues, and I could not resist. And so I got the four palette um little setup and I got such which is funny I think this is one that um um Jacqueline Hill was talking about that she she really liked a lot so that's really cool okay um so I got such and I got Hannah Good Hannah. I wanted some more of the dual chrome because I'm in love with pink champagne. Like oh, in love. Like if I can get some um shimmers just to put my kit, I'm good. Well I do like um now that I know how to deal with the the um makeup makeup geeks shimmer the foil ones i'll put those in my kit i am thinking about getting those for my kit but yeah i still do love her shimmer so i, I might get that down the line um also got peacock okay i got peacock this green is everything i realize now that i have so much makeup that i don't really like blue that much on my eyes i don't like blue I don't know. Blue does not set off my brown eyes. Green does. So I really do like green a lot. So, and also, I got um, Blitz. But that, Blitz. Blitz. I don't know. Topi-ish looking color right there. So I got those four. Then I ordered from Nordstrom's. This is a skin based massage thing. I don't even know what this is. And um, uh, body hydrator, whatever that is. Oh, okay. I was watching Kelsey Brianna James. She's on YouTube. She's my addiction, you know. Um, I was talking to her and she was telling, because I was telling her I really wanted some Tom Ford um, spots and um, his eyeshadows. And she was like, well, I, I just ran down the list of stuff that I wanted, um, which ones I wanted. And she said, well, you know what? You should get the um, Sahara Haze because I think that's limited edition. And when I seen her video, she was talking about 
another one so i was like oh, i'm down like i'm down for it so i never thought that i was gonna get any of his um eyeshadows because i'm like how much that no no i will not be the one it won't be me and the little condom she was talking about um this is what it looks like I already got like fingerprints on it. Because it's mine. Print it all up. Okay. This is what just sold me. I'm like, okay, let's go. Can you see that? Like, I see you. I see you. And I dropped something on uh, one of the brushes. We won't need that though. Okay, so let's cover that. This is Sahara Haze. Let me take that. Yeah, let's take that out. This is Sahara Haze. Yes. So gorgeous. I put my finger in the other one. And yes, I'm keeping them in the little in the condo. It's going to live like that. That's it's going to live. And again, how it opens. Let me Got that over here. This is let me get you Okay. This is new dip. Like she said, you look at it and you like you see it online and he's like, oh, okay, that's that's cute. Until you see it and then you swatch it and then you go, I'm not gonna sing you're my lady, but yeah, 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 I'm feeling. I'm feeling this. This is grown up. This is like, you know, this is nice. This is really nice. He did a good money went towards this packaging and this delicious um, makeup. I can't even get it in here right now. Lay it like that. So, yeah. So, I got that. Um, I'm kind of obsessed now now that I touched it and I'm like I'm all about touching once I like swatch or whatever my I'm so if I really really like it so the rest of the stuff that I have in here is clothing um I ordered these jeans this is from uh, Melissa McCarthy line from Nordstrom and it's like fading at the knees and like Somebody threw bleach on them, distress type of jeans. You got like two buttons at the top. It's very thick. This is a size 20. This is like a pencil slim silhouette system that she got. Um, they were 89. Yeah, they were expensive. Our pants are expensive. Just no getting around it, but they are. Oh, I had to wait until after Christmas for them to ship out. Um, yeah, I'm digging these. If you can feel, if you can go to any Nordstrom, if you're a big girl, go to Nordstrom's if they have asked for them about her collection and see if they have it. Touch these pants. This is worth every penny. I know there's a lot of jeans that you would touch and go, oh, you could like thin material. This is in my eyes. It's like really thin material. These are thick. Her, that uh, I had a pencil skirt that I got from her, thick. The trousers that she has, thick. They're worth $89. Actually, they worth more because they're not cheap material that people just put together and be like oh okay you look cute in that go ahead these are adorable type of items and i fell in love with these pants okay i also ordered these other jeans um i fell in love with these other jeans from uh, Macy's and these are size 22 these are the rock rocks and, and indigo and again you see a thing I'm all about the rips and the dark denim and 
And I also got these from, these were expensive, but I don't, I got these like a really good deal. I think they were like a hundred and then I got another, I think another 20% off using my card to get these. These are size 22. These are General's um, jeans. I never heard of this person, but again, you see a thing. We got the rips. It still is a size. Um, it says a US 22. So yeah, I'm gonna show you these. Cool that little rip in the back, in the back area too. This feel actually really nice. So I never heard of Jenna Rose. So yeah, I got these. These are um skinny jeans i don't wear anything else but skinny jeans i am five foot nothing and when i wear um other type of jeans i know you can get them you know cut or whatever i don't want to go through all that but skinny jeans just hug my ankles and just look right on me i feel you know i don't have any boot cuts nothing everything skinny jeans um they just they are just comfortable for me I also got this. It's a tunic, but on me it's a dress. But I will wear pants with it. I don't know how long. I haven't tried it on yet, but here it is. This dress reminded me of a dress that Kim Kardashian had on when she went to Paris and when she got married. And it was like all, it's like Fleur de Lis, like all the you know the flower or whatever it's in the back as well i just thought it was so pretty and i just had to have it and i got this from simply b i still haven't show you my coat it'll be a minute before it's upstairs in my in the front closet and I'm, i just never have took it downstairs i'm sorry but if i can I'm going to um, insert a photo of me in the coat. It's from uh, Macy's and I got it. It was originally like a 140 and then I got it when it was 70 or 60% off. Then I got another 20 off from that. So it was like 60 something. It was 50% off. I'm not really sure, but I know that it was like 100 and something. And I got it for... 66 and I absolutely love that coat and I was joking with the lady that was selling me glitter everywhere um selling me the coat and I was like I look like Cookie from Empire in this coat I just love this coat she helped me put it on because I was like didn't know how to put it on and it was just amazing and I just fell in love another thing I bought I bought another I lost Christmas was a mess for me um, I bought my mom a lot of stuff because she deserves that and more. Um, so I um, had a big box of stuff for my mom and I lost my shirt. I was like, I don't know what my shirt is. I like kind of freaked out because I wanted to wear all black for um, Christmas with my um, fur vest. So I've been like planning that in my mind for like the longest. And I could not find the freaking shirt so i ordered another one from macy's and it's like this and it's like ruching um in the arm in the arm area um i'm not a big fan of turtlenecks i'm already like my neck is not that long so i can't i can't have something just like literally look like this across my neck so i did like more of a scoop in the front well little, little scoop this is a three because i didn't want it to be hugging me so um yeah so i got this black shirt um this is from Alfina. Alfina. It was originally $49.50, but I got it for $24. When you shop with um, Macy's, and they have this thing called Plenty that you link with your card. And whenever you purchase, you bank money into the Plenty account. And I was able to take like $6 off of it. And then this was... Also, 20, I also was able to put 20% off of it, too. So, yes. 
So I got that shirt. Yeah, so I got two black shirts, but hey, everybody needs a black shirt. Okay. So now um, I ordered some gym shoes from um, Foot Locker. Um, I have really big feet. Uh, I've said in another video, I'm size 11. And I normally cannot find shoes in my size, especially in women's. I used to always get men's sizes. It's another lady on YouTube, and I was like, amen, sister. I am a child of the 80s, and, well, well early 90s. <laughs> I was born in 81. So, I was child of, like, the 90s, really. So, I grew up in the 90s. Let me dig not digress. Let me go on. So, um, I grew up with a time period where there was pretty much nothing to wear for a bigger person. They only had women's, and that was it. <laughs> um, they didn't have junior plus. They didn't have plus size. It was women's, and that was it. So if you wanted something, you had to go into the men's section to get it. So I have had men's jeans and shirts and, you know, um... Um, all shots out to Aaliyah, um, the big baggy, um, um, oversized thing that was a part of the 90s. I had that. I wore men's clothing and it was, it was sad, but it was what you had to do. Um, I thought I was fresh though. I thought I was fresh as hell. But, um, I always had a big foot and it, that was always a problem for me to find size 11 shoes. So I always got men's shoes in like a size 9. So men don't have pink shoes, you know. So I, you know, I couldn't get, you know, kids foot locker and go get some really cute shoes for the kids. And so I used to go with my friends and do that, watch them do that because I couldn't do it. I had to go to the men's section and that, that was it. So... I'm saying all this to say, bam, I'm in love. I want you to get up on this. That's why I'm pushing this up in your face. I'm sorry. But yes, these are the Nike Dunk Sky High. Um, it has a platform in it right up in And these are my everything. I want to tell you now, you will see a lot of these because I'm if I can find these suckers, I'm buying them. These belong in my life. Yes. This just, it brought back like a childhood trauma to me. But it was just like I wanted to have cute little shoes like this. And to be able to get them now as an adult, it just, it, it fills me with so much joy. You do not understand. Um, even with clothing, I buy, I tend to buy a lot of clothing because a lot of things were not available to me when I was younger. And now that they are, and there's so many different places, I think I want to do, I think I did this before, but I want to do, let me push that forward. Um, I think I want to do a video just dedicated to plus size clothing, where I shop at, and how to shop to get yourself the best deal possible. But yeah, I got these. So, I got these, I fell in love with those, and I was like, I So, I didn't need that hair for that. Okay. I just got these in today. I ordered these from Nike. Um, I ordered these from Nike. These Nike had ten percent cash back on um on um Ebates. Oh, that escaped my mind. So we got like this little rubber thing over here. Yeah, boom. So I got these, just like black and gray, size 11s, um, like, yes, ma'am, oh my god, I love these. So, it was like gray at the bottom. I bought at least two more that's coming, two more that's coming. I am going to pretty much get every one that I can possibly get, because I did not know because I remember when these came out. I didn't know that people were still wearing them because I still wear my wedge sneakers. 
and um, some of my wife's sneakers. Um, I didn't know they were still out. And these were always hard for me to get because they were always gone. And I didn't know they still had like making different styles or different colors. So I found some at Foot Locker. I'm going nuts. It's going in. It's going in because I'm in love. So I got these. Happy about those. I needed some gym shoes anyway because I only had one pair of gym shoes. Now I'm just going to stock up on some gym shoes. Then I kind of want some um, Air Maxes, the 96 ones. I think I'm going to wear those today. Okay. Last pair of shoes. Uh, I went shoe crazy. The, okay, you out here cannot tell me these ain't bomb. These are Sam Edelman. I got these from um, Nordstrom's. Again, these were on sale. These were like 89. Got them for like 90 something dollars. Yes, yes, get into this. Yes, do you see this wedge? Yes. Oh, it's so comfortable. And you got some element like right here on the foot. Oh, yes. These are everything. So, of course, size 11 with this little. It is in the inner part. Yes. They're like little moccasins with the wedge. Oh, these are tan. They have some green ones. They're kind of green. Green. These are the tan ones. I'm not sure if I should get those too because they're on sale too and they still have a size 11 so I might get those okay now um, I'm done with the stuff that I bought myself um, this is what I got for Christmas so my mom um, that I have a Pandora um, bracelet that I really like have not been buying um, anything for for a minute now you can tell but it's um different people that you may have lost and um i know it's more about the time you 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 put on on the charm or whatever not just trying to collect everything as you can um i got my mom um two charms one is um uh, it reminds me of my grandmother who passed away um, it's called it's the Queen Bee with the little crown, and I got the princess um, crown that represents me because she has she's a Leo and she got the one with the Leo head with the crown, and I just think it's, it was so cute that you know all you know the three um, ladies together again on her bracelet. So I got her that, and I didn't know she was getting me um, a Pandora charm. Um, cause <laughs> she bought me this, it's a boot, a brush, and a horseshoe on it. These other two right here my mom got me too. It's a, um, a little, it's like a palette. It's a palette with a brush cause she's like, it represents me and my makeup. And, um, a, a mirror. These two, I think she got me last year but the boot and the brush and the horseshoe she said it just reminded me reminded her that i lost my freaking mind buying all them damn shoes <laughs> she i had them all all up um, i had them all in my, my laundry room because i was moving things around and i was trying to i cleaned out my closet and i'm giving away a lot of my um older boots and shoes and I cleaned out because I have like two closets. <laughs> um, one in my room and one is in like kind of in the laundry room. So I cleaned all that out and I wanted to give that away. I was asking other people that I know, like, do you wear a size 11 or whatever so I can give them to you. But um, if not, they're going to Salvation Army. Um, so she was like, you didn't lost your damn mind. Because she really doesn't know what I purchased until like i show it to her like Ooh, look at this look at this but it was like all of it together and she would just look like what the hell did you do i was like they had a sale and then da, 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 da. And she was just like you would have lost your mind i just i love a sale and i needed boots and i needed stuff for for my birthday 
so I went for it or whatever. Um, you can never be going wrong with nice shoes. So she got me this little, she got me this boot to remind myself that I lost my mind this year with buying boots. I bought a lot of boots. Whew, I digress. Then she bought me this. This is the first day. Okay. She bought me this. This is a Coach Hobo. Um, I forget what it's called. Hobo something purse, and it's very large and in charge. And at first, I thought it didn't come because this. Um, I thought it didn't come with the actual um, strap that comes with it, but it does. It was inside. I don't know about So I'm so happy about this. I'm gonna show you the inside. This is everything to me. This is leather. Gosh, this is leather. It's so soft. It's a soft leather. I'm kind of scared about scratching it. Oh, yeah. This one is like sold off at Macy's because I've been looking at it and I was going to get it. It says Coach has a little insignia and it says New York on it right at the bottom. Right here. Oh, you know what I didn't notice? It doesn't have a Oh yeah it does. It has a dust bag. Yes. yes. So she got me this purse because I really, really wanted a purse this year. I wasn't gonna buy myself a, a, a purse for Christmas or for my birthday because I was kind of focused on other stuff and I was supposed to save up money for a purse this year and it just went all to hell in a handbasket. Hopefully I can get a purse for um, when I do my income tax. But yeah. Yes! I'm so happy. My mom is the best. That's why I got her a lot of stuff for Christmas because she does a lot for me and I love her to absolute pieces. Um, she's my complete and utter, you know, everything. We're very close. <laughs> um, and she enjoys purses too. Um, that's why I like I like buying her things. I buy my mom a lot of stuff, but I just don't show it on here because she doesn't want me to. She always tell me like, don't show my stuff. She gets all sassy pants like, mm mm, it's mine. So I don't really show her um, her things that I purchase her. Um, she has an attitude. So that is all of this haul. Of course, I always got more stuff coming because I am a shop aholic. I'm a shopaholic. Um, I'm a shopaholic, but I love I love to shop sales and deals. The only thing that I think that I've paid full price for is my purses, uh, my Louis Vuitton purses. So. Um, other than that, um, I gotta put all this stuff away and give it, breathe new life into it when I shall wear it. Um, still loving my hair though. <laughs> yes, it smells so good. It smells like the dye that I did it doesn't smell like corn chips. That's how I know that other hair that I had was the other company in the back because this hair is phenomenal and it doesn't stink. So, bye. Till next time and thank you for watching.